What's up everybody, it's Rocky from Ignition Therapy. Thanks for joining me today. Today we are unboxing a Bentley Diablo, one of 500, uh, and it's here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, or Ducati of Richfield. And uh, it's right behind me. I don't wanna show it to you just yet, but we're gonna check out the uh, unboxing video. There it is, folks. One of 500 locked behind this crate. Sean. Sean, nice to meet you. Rocky. Nice to meet you. All right, man. You ready to do this? All right, I'm so excited. All right, all right. You ever unboxed something like this before? No, nothing in this, this specialty crate. Okay. But if you look at the, the crates, typically this, this is the mark from a normal bike that comes in and that it's, it's special from top to bottom. Everything about this has been curated or like tuned to go with the owner that is going to buy this bike. You know, so it's a very special unit. Wooden crates are relatively unusual, you know, so it is it's special. I could be wrong though, so you can't put that out if it's wrong. We don't do that here. But okay. so Ducati appreciates very much that there's a there's we'll call it a, a type of customer that is into the the technology, the applied elegance that you see to these models, and they call them I believe it's uh, referenced as the, the Ducatista. You know, it's Italian, I'm not Italian, yeah. um, and they try and cater to that customer base by offering these very special items. Okay. Sure. What's that sunset? No, 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 no. It's Italian. Fragile. Fragile. <laughs> So what do you think is is in there? So there's some special accessories. Okay. With it. I believe there's a jacket. Um, oh, here nice. we'll also find the, the specialty seat. Oh, uh, specialty seats. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it comes with that. Yep. So it comes with these three packages. We don't know what's in there just yet, but yep. probably the seat and special accessories. Jacket, the seat, the seat cowl should be in there, and then all the normal stuff. You know, that's a pretty simple PDI. Yeah. Um, it's like bar end uh, weights, uh, rear view mirrors. Yeah. It's a license plate holder. Okay, cool, cool. It comes pretty uh, put together. The one big uh, part of this PDI is installing the battery because it's under the tank. And there's some special precautions with yeah. the Diablo Bentley because of uh, the different fairings. There's some carbon fiber fairings. Oh, wow. And it's, okay. uh, it's a different operation to right, the man. base model. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Oh wow! Smell the smell that new mm. Bentley Diablo smell. Oh yeah! You get a whiff of that. Bella, bella. So what do you think, Rob? I can't wait to see that scarab green. I know, right? Oh my god! I I, I want to see what uh, serial number it is too. These are all yeah. numbered, laser numbered. So. All right, folks. All right. Wow. Look at that. Look at the numbers. This is 244 out of 500. Yeah. That is crazy. Yeah. Do you think that that, uh, that's a ramp right now? That's the, they send the ramp so it doesn't bottom out when you roll it off. Those Italians, they talk like everywhere. Oh, yeah. Look, carbon fibre everywhere. Yeah, it's crazy that even the protective covers have their own. Each one of them has their own uh, yeah. serial number. This is not a normal bike, but usually on a normal Ducati, I'm very meticulous with, um, especially this area up here, right here. And right here are the two places I see shipping damage, mm. damage the most often. Oh, okay.
nice. Hey, bro. Don't drop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pressure's on. <laughs> yeah, pressure's on. Watching the First front. time it's been movement since factory. Oh, it was firing there. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, what do you think, sir? I think that's fucking awesome, dude. I know, bro. Now I just want to put an exhaust on that. So this is a stock exhaust off of a Ducati Diablo V4, uh, standard version. Just and uh, kind of we've got this uh, customer bike on the floor as well, so to be able to hear the okay. the race exhaust, it yeah. sounds awesome. Like yeah. uh, I like the undertail visually better, but yeah. the, the exhaust note yeah. of the V4 uh, Gran Turismo Diablo system yeah. is it's it's right up there. The tail. <laughs> yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You, you remember that from Christmas Story? <laughs> Fragile. Uh, remember that? Nice. Fragile. Ooh. That is nice. I don't know what that is, but that is nice. What the? Oh my gosh. No, I don't want to. I know. I don't want to mark it at all. There's already this. Yeah, here. I saw that. They say you have to be careful. I've seen movies like that. where they pull the wrong thing and then sand starts running out of a mm -hmm. big sliding wedge and the whole place collapses. <laughs> Booby trick. We'll let, we'll let Lynn pick, take that one apart. Right. His project. Yeah. All right. What's in there? You got mirrors, I believe. Oh, mirrors? Of course. Diablo's always had nice mirrors. At least my gen did. Is this the first generation Diablo over here? So these are the mirrors on the first gen. I think. Yeah, first gen. Oh yeah, they still got. Yeah, they're pretty much they're all stock. same design. Yeah. yeah, super solid. Have to get some uh, Cheetos. They're not sponsored by Cheetos, but I think it's a quick break. I think we're gonna get a startup too, or at least uh, see the lights on the dash. It's supposed to show a special message. All right, what's inside? Oh, another nice box, man. Now I see why you're so careful with letting it. Yeah. Man, they did a great job. That's beautiful. Just looking at this box is nice. I would like display all of this somehow. Yeah. Even the box that it came in like. It's like an iPhone box. Yeah. You don't know what you're going to do with it. I know, I know. You want to keep it? Keep it. It's yeah. nice. You're lucky you get to peel this stuff up, <laughs> man. You get that satisfaction. This is one of turning into those satisfaction videos. Mm -hmm. ASMR. All right, taking off the cowl. Carbon fiber everywhere. And you got those little stickers. That's how you know it's the real stuff. Look at that weed. It's beautiful. Wow, check that out. Let me zoom in on this. Wow. That's where that shmoney is going. Oh my God. That's just a cowl. And I heard you can go two up on this bike still if you wanted. Pillion seat. Pillion seat, yep. Yeah. Carbon fiber, tank strap, fairings, all over the place. Hugger. That was the most nerve-wracking thing I've done in a while. What? So, this is a carbon fiber piece right here. Yeah. And there's these little push tabs. Yeah. That go into another carbon fiber piece. Okay. And so, hey, you have to pull this straight out. Yeah. But we've also got a locating tab right here, so it can't come too far out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. But we got them both out smooth, yep. unbroken, all good. Sweet. Love it. Go for it. First time. Very cool, very cool. So the tank just went back on. The older Ducati's like that one uh, down there. Battery going way down below here and hard to get. So I thought with this being under the tank, it'd be much easier, but it's still a little bit uh, challenging. So it's in right there, but I'd rather have it up there than down there. This is the older model. I believe this is the Tesla Strata 2 which is still a beast and still is a beast. Let's see what that is. Yep, Tesla Shredder 2, so the same motor that I got. I actually like the seat, the backrest on these, because you need this for the back passenger. This thing is so torquey. You need that. This one's been ridden well. So a modification that'll likely be done to this is an aftermarket exhaust. Now, for a $70,000 bike, you think, why can't I just come with the best exhaust? But even the supercharged hyperbikes, the H2s come with stock exhaust because you can't get stuff titled, you know, this 
you know, rules and regulations. So this will be on here for now, but who knows what it's uh, who knows what it'll come. But I'd like to keep it like this for a little while, enjoy it like this. Because you're still spending seventy K. Man, I wonder how much this that part stock costs. <laughs> Unless it's just the cover piece. That's carbon fiber. I'm not 100 percent sure. But hmm, well actually there's one over here, so let me go look. So this is the stock exhaust. So I think they just added carbon fiber here. I'm gonna double check one more time. Well, a little different, but the concept's the same. No, I don't see the Oh, this box. I've heard of this box. It's like elusive to normal, regular the people. The DDS? The, what's it called? DDS. The DDS. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Tim Allen would say. Are these only for like dealers or if you had enough money, you can get one of your own? If you have enough money, you can buy that. You can buy it. How much do you think they are? I think uh, for the actual hardware of that. It's yeah. Like three, five, four thousand dollars. Is it the one? Like, this is how you tune them? Like, if you wanted to tune type stuff, or is if it just you had bought the Ducati Performance exhaust? Gotcha. That's how the, the gotcha. Ducati Performance up tune gets on there. Oh, okay. But that's our main um, interface with with the motorcycles. Uh, okay. Service lights, reading codes. Um, the, our, our wiring diagrams are also in that program. Okay. Yes. You gotta get these things out of transport mode. See, it's blinking. Transport mode, transport mode. I'm being transported. Wonder, do all the vehicles light up like that? They have the light up on like the, 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 the gauges? Or the, the gauges, yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. So I saw you do like a sequence. It was like turning off, bike on yeah. and off, and that sort of thing. Yeah, so yeah. that's the, the power latch. Yeah. Uh, basically, when you clear um, the memories okay. from Sweet. the bike, ah, power gotcha. on and off the modules. Gotcha. All right, so Sweet. everything on the computer side is done. Now I just have to finish uh, vehicle assembly. And then there's a whole list of um, checks there. Uh, All right. Checks we do um, on any anytime a bike comes in for service yep. and then also Sweet. on the pre-delivery. And here we got the fresh Italian hair. Yeah. <laughs> Straight from Bologna. All right, so these things are ready, to, almost ready to run when they come out of the box, huh? Yep. All right, let's hear this, baby. I gotta have more cowbell, baby. About what you can do, huh? That's yeah. That's, that's vehicle pretty assembly much and PDI, other than the um, the road test. Yep. And um, right. softly cleaning the motorcycle. Right. Check it to see if the test drive yeah. is required. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my paperwork. Right there. Final road test. Final uh, so the dealer test. does have to take it out. Okay. Okay. Diablo for Batley. Look at the smile that's on his specifically. face. Specifically. Look at the smile on his face. We have We have in the past customer requests. Yeah. Skip it. We yeah. skip it. We make yeah. them sign a waiver yeah. that we haven't written it. But yeah. mm. there's gonna be that's uh, yeah, no speeding tickets. Oh, of course not, Rob. All right. Check here. Ooh, it's got the number on it. DFL Port Bentley. Oh, <laughs> I see what you did there. Who did that? How does it feel to test drive? Just a normal bike. Just a normal bike, right? <laughs> this guy. And then this guy shows up. <laughs> you got the Elite? Oh, it's a hell of a helix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it didn't know. Oh. 
One eternity later. Ooh, sounds like an airplane. It's not for its main like voyage. It fucking it holds you. Huh? Like the, the rear yeah. stay and then where the, the carbon fibers hangs are. Yeah. It's really nice. Oh, nice. I mean, the one before was awesome feeding to this as well, but. Mm, that smells good. Well, that's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed watching. And uh, wow, thanks for tuning in. If you're not already subscribed, feel free to subscribe if you like uh, what you see. Lots of motorsports uh, related activities. So, have a great rest of the year.